good morning dear students so in the last in the previous class we have learned about the uh, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue in even in the permanent tissue we have studied the types of permanent tissues so in that we have finished about the supporting tissue in the supporting tissue we have completed uh, the parenchyma tissue so today we shall do the second type of supporting tissue that is collagenma collagenma tissue so in the collagenma tissue so as we all know in the parenchyma tissue the cell wall is thin but compared to the parenchyma cells which are present in the collagenma the cell wall will be slightly thick so the, the cell wall which is present in the cells that is or the which are present in the collagenma tissue that cell wall cell wall is slight slightly thick so where the cell wall is slightly thick here at the corners at the corners the cell wall is here thick at the corners of the cells the cell wall is thick so how it is thick only at the cell uh, the corners of the cells so these cells are made up of cellulose here the cell wall is thick at the corners due to the presence of a uh, cellulose and pectin so the corn that thick at the corners of the cell what is present here then so here cellulose and pectin cellulose and pectin due to the cellulose and pectin the cell wall is thick at the corners okay then what do you mean by here cellulose and pectin so cellulose means nothing but it is a a uh, polysaccharide unit polysaccharide which is present as like a glucose unit nothing but the glucose units then pectin so pectin means it is a kind of carbohydrates so these two made up the cells at the corners especially they are thick at the corners of the cells in the collagenma tissue okay then what kind of cells are present here the living cells are present the living living cells are present in the collagenma tissue living cells are present living cells are present in the collagenma tissue so what about the intercellular space in the collagenma tissue so intercellular space is generally absent so here in the collagenma tissue the intercellular the intercellular space the intercellular space is generally absent so generally absent or generally absent is not completely absent may be present at only few generally absent is not completely it is absent in the collagenma tissues so let us take the diagram and see here so as you all know the cells are having different shapes so here like uh, they are oval in shape they are polygonal in shape even they are circular in shape so let us take the circular in shape so like this so i said here they are very thick at the corners so if you take like this at the corners see at the corners so in this corners they are thick so these corners are made up of cellulose and pectin and as we all know in between the nucleus will be present and even cytoplasm will be present and all other cell organelles will be present here so intercellular space so intercellular space i said here so intercellular space means see they are thick at the end here so when they are thick at the corners so there will be no space in the in between the cells there is no space between the cells due to this the intercellular intercellular space is generally absent only little amount of space will be present so that's in the intercellular space is absent in the collagenma tissue then where they are found so where this collagenma tissues are found location where this collagenma tissues are found so this collagenma tissues are found in the so petioles so found in the petioles 
veins of the leaves that are present in the petioles. Petioles and in the veins of leaves. So petioles means you are knowing from so it this is a plant. So a branches will be there. From the branches a leaf arises. So this a narrow tube like structure from where a leaf will be there. So this is called as the petiole. Then veins. Veins means you are knowing the extended part of this petiole. So this this is called as the midrib. From here the veins will be followed. So this is called as the veins of the leaves. So in this part petioles and veins that is colon chyma tissue will be present. And even not only in the leaf even in the end stem. In the end stems this colon chyma tissue will be present. Next then what will be the function of this colon chyma tissue? What are the function? So the function of colon chyma tissue is to provide the flexible mechanical support to the plant parts. So the function, let us take the function here. Function, so what is the function of this colon chyma tissue? So it provides, so colon chyma tissue provides flexible mechanical flexible mechanical support for which they are providing support here mechanical support to the plant parts which are the plant parts here so nothing but the plant parts are the leaves the stem and uh, leaves and stem are the parts where the function takes place of this colon chyma tissue means the colon chyma tissue provides flexible mechanical support to the uh, parts of the plant especially for the stem and the leaves so this is what the diagram have given here this is cross section so this is the cross section of the colon chyma tissue so even this cross section is also called uh, or also known as the transverse section so one more it is there so this is cross section so in longitudinal section so longitudinal section also will be present in this tissue so for how longitudinal cross section how you can identify it? so for example if you take a cucumber so the cucumber will be in this shape okay just imagine a rough diagram so the cucumber will be in this shape so when we cut when we cut like this we will get a cucumber of a piece like this so here inside the seeds will be present so like this the structure will be present so this kind section what we call as the longitudinal section longitudinal section so the same cucumber if we cut like a slice so we will get in a circular form so this is called as the cross section in two ways we can just observe through the microscope that is like a longitudinal section and in the cross section even cross section also known as transverse section so this is about the colon chyma tissue so colon chyma tissue is the second type of supporting tissue so in the colon chyma the cell wall will be slightly thick when we compare to the parenchyma tissue so here where they are thick, they are thick at the corners of the cell means the cell wall will be thick only at the corners. So how this cell wall is made up of this cell wall is made up of cellulose and the pectin. It is made up of cellulose and pectin. Cellulose means it is a kind of polysaccharides where glucose units will be present and pectin means nothing but it is a kind of carboids. So leaving cells are present in the colon chyma tissue. Then intercellular space. So intercellular space is generally absent in the colon chyma tissue. So where they are present, so this colon chyma tissues are present in petioles, veins of the leaves and in end stems. So even I have showed you a way where the body made by petioles and veins of leaves. Okay. Then what will be the function of this colon chyma tissue? The function will be to provide the flexible 
mechanical support to the plant parts. So this is about the colonchyma tissue. So next we shall move for the other type, the third type of supporting tissue that is virenchyma tissue. Now we shall move for the third type of tissue, virenchyma tissue which comes under the supporting tissue. So this supporting tissue is coming under the simple tissue. Simple tissue is divided into two types that is protective tissue and supporting tissue. Supporting tissue once again it is divided into three types parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Now we shall study about the sclerenchyma tissue. So now what do you mean by sclerenchyma tissue? So sclerenchyma tissue nothing but even here also. So the cells, the cells which are present in the sclerenchyma. So sclerenchyma tissue. Sclerenchyma. So as we all know there the cells are present even here also tissue means a group of cells will be present. So in the sclerenchyma also the cells are present. So what kind of cells will be here? The cells are long with the tapering ends. So the cells which are present in the sclerenchyma are the cells are long with tapering ends. Long with the tapering ends. So here tapering the word tapering. So what do you mean by tapering ends here? So nothing but at the one end, the one end it will be the narrow and the short, it will be tapering ends means to become smaller and thinner towards the end. So for example, if we take a single cell like tapering end, so first it will be broad, so when it comes it will become narrow, so at the end it will be small, becoming like a small, so this kind of long with the tapering and so this kind of cells, so this is called as the tapering ends. Here the cells are long with the tapering ends. The next uh, characteristics of this chyma is, so here the cell wall, so the cell wall is thick. So the cell wall in the chyma is thick. So your cell wall is thick means then cell wall is made up of, so here the cell wall is thick, this cell wall is thick, because due to the presence of lignin, due to the presence of lignin, due to the presence of lignin, the cell wall is thick. Nothing but the cell wall is made up of a complex substance called as the lignin. Due to this, the cell wall will be thick in the sclerenchyma tissue. Next, what kind of cells will be present here? So, in the sclerenchyma, the dead cells, the dead cells are present in sclerenchyma. The dead cells are present. So dead cells means nothing but here the protoplasm will be absent. So the protoplasm, the protoplasm is absent in the sclerenchyma tissue. So then what is the function of protoplasm here? So protoplasm means nothing but it is a kind of living substance present in the cells. This protoplasm includes, this protoplasm includes the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, the nucleus, and even the cell organelles. Even the cell organelles will be present here in the protoplasm. But here, the protoplasm itself is absent due to the cells which are present in the sclerenchyma are dead cells. The dead cells are present in the sclerenchyma tissue. Then next we shall see function of the sclerenchyma. Before going to function, first let us see the location. Means where the sclerenchyma cells are found. Where this sclerenchyma cell location, okay, but where they are found. So this sclerenchyma tissues are found in the stems and in the veins of the nerves. They are found in the stem and in veins. 
and in the veins of the leaves. So in the plant, especially in the stem, as well as in the veins of the leaves. So here, this sclerenchyma tissue is present. Then what will be the function of this sclerenchyma? So even the function as like colenchyma tissue itself in the sclerenchyma also, it gives. So here, the sclerenchyma provides the rigid mechanical support. The function of sclerenchyma is to provide to provide the rigid rigid means nothing but a fix very hard rigid mechanical support rigid mechanical support to the plant parts support to the plant parts especially in the stem and in the veins of the leaves the function will take place in the sclerenchyma tissue so here let us take the diagram of the sclerenchyma tissues as we all know the different uh, shapes are present in the cells so here we shall take the polygonal shape cells so polygon but here you can see like hexagonal because 1 2 3 4 totally 6 sides will be reading but it is an example for the polygonal so polygon is more than 5 sides. So these are the diagrams, rough diagrams. You have to refer the reader for the proper diagrams. So if you observe here, you can see so tapering ends, nothing but where at the one end they will become small, smaller at the end, one end they will become at the smaller. So these are the cells, and as you all know, in between the nucleus will be present, even other the cell organelles will be present, and here the cell wall is thick, and dead cells are present in the sclerenchyma tissue so dead cells means as you all know stem nothing but the OD stem the OD stems uh, the OD stems you can see this sclerenchyma tissue so this is about the sclerenchyma tissue the uh, supporting tissue so sclerenchyma tissue means where the cells are long with the tapering ends and cell wall is thick due to the presence of lignin a complex substance called as the lignin then dead cells are present even protoplasm is absent. So, what are the things present in the protoplasm here? Cytoplasm, nucleus, and cell organs. Then, what will be the function of protoplasm? So, the key role or the function of protoplasm is to activate of the activity of the cells. But here, the protoplasm itself is absent. So, the dead cells, no activity of cells takes place. So, they are present in the stem as well as in the veins of the leaves. Then, function is to provide the rigid mechanical support for the plant parts. So this is about the sclerenchyma tissue. Now we shall move for the, the other kind of permanent tissue that is complex permanent tissue. Now we shall move for the second type of permanent tissue that is complex permanent tissues. So complex, so here also the two types of tissues are present especially here in the complex permanent tissues. So one is the xylem, another one is the phloem that we shall study in the next classes. Now we shall study only about the complex tissues. So the complex permanent tissue. So complex permanent tissue. Here as you all know in the before cells the cells are similar so the cells are similar in uh, structure as well as the function have taken place but here the cells which are present in the complex permanent tissue the different cells are present so different cells means nothing but two or more types of cells will be present in the complex permanent tissue so the cells which are present in the complex here are the cells are the 
vessels are made up of two R more means the different cells are present. The different cells are present in the complex tissue. So then how the function will take place if the cells are different then different function should take place here. But how the arrangement of cells taken place here means if the cells are different that cells are specialized to form a common function. So all the cells which are different here they are, they are formed into a special, specialized cells which they can perform the common function. So by this function, so then what is the function of this complex permanent tissue? So what will be the function? So the function of the function of complex permanent tissue is to transport water and food materials. The function of complex permanent tissue is to transport is to transport water and food materials to transport water and food materials so food materials is nothing but nutrients to provide nutrients to the plants so based on this water and food materials the function so the water will be taken place in the complex permanent tissue and even the food materials so conducting tissue even this Complex permanent tissues are also called as the conducting tissue. The complex permanent tissue is also called as the conducting tissues. So called as the conducting tissues. So then this complex permanent tissue or the conductive tissue is divided into two main types. This complex permanent tissue or conducting tissue is divided into two types. Here, the first one is the xylem, the second one is the phloem. So, xylem means it is a water conducting tissue. Xylem means water conducting means tissue which provides water for the plants. So then phloem. So phloem nothing but it is called as the food conducting food conducting tissue. So these are the types of complex permanent tissue. Our complex permanent tissue is also called as the conducting tissue. This conducting tissue is divided into two types, xylem and phloem. So xylem means water conducting tissue, phloem means food conducting tissue which provides water and food for the plants. So in the next class we shall study about the xylem and phloem in detail. Thank you.